Hey guys, and welcome back to the Reigns Let's Play with me, Power Ducks, obviously. Um, now, I'm not feeling that well today, so it might take a, you know, if I sound a bit odd or something, or I'm not as talkative as normal, that's probably why it's been a bit, it's been a, it's a long week, it's been a long week, and it's been a long weekend, that's why I haven't been uploading as much as normal, but it should be back to normal very soon. Um, obviously, what I want to do in this is try and gain the Westerland um, with Reynold II. We want to try and do it with him. Now, obviously, my son is married to... Marissa Crackle, whose father has a claim on the Westlands. So when he dies, um, she will inherit it. So we want him to die. Might even try and help that. <laughs> but before that, I just need to sort out a few things before I get the time going. Now, what I need to do, what is there? Now, one of my family is a so Rupert of Castamere. Now, I want to try and get an alliance, so it might be good to maybe marry him off. Uh, so it look like Pains or something like that. Oh, it's the Lorches now. I have the Pains place. Uh, inheriting would be the forms. Okay, the forms. That's nice. There's a son there. Maybe we could marry the daughter. Okay, let's try and marry her. His betrothal. And Rupert. No. Desires a better alliance. Are you bloody kidding me? I am like probably the most powerful man in the Westlands, apart from the Lady Power Man. And you want a better alliance? Bloody kidding me. Okay, who can you actually marry? It's probably because he doesn't give an alliance, that's probably why. <laughs> but, I guess. Ooh. Pia. Okay, we could try and gain a, a place. Yeah, okay, let's try and go with her then. Yep, try and marry her. Uh, there's another person actually as well. Obviously, a long time ago we married a Stark. Um, it was her. She has two kids, as you can see. Now, Podrick Rain is actually a black brother. Not sure if he was sent there, or he asked to be there. The North has changed hands quite a few times, and maybe he was part of one of the rebellions, or was it you know, one of the guys he lost? So maybe he was sent there. I don't know. But it, it's, it's cool that a rain is up in a, is up on the Night's Watch. It would be pretty cool. And the other one is Alton Rain. Now, obviously, he's going to get a claim on the North when his mother dies. So it won't be cool to try and keep him with us, just in case. And obviously, look at those, look at those sideburns. That is why I call some good sideburns. Okay, let's get you here. Invite the court. Yeah, and you will accept. That's awesome. Okay. I think that's it. Up oh, one last thing, actually. Obviously, we had Mr. Fashbinder. Uh, now, obviously, I married him to Shearer of Small Place. Now, I really wanted him to be part of our family because, obviously, he has the strong trait and he has the quick trait, which would be cool ones to pass on, possibly, to his natural children. Um, sadly, though, I thought, obviously, us two were glitched and we couldn't get back. And so I married him to her to maybe bring him back. And it didn't work, and then we both returned. It just took a while, and that's all it was. So I was a bit annoyed about it. So what I'm going to try and do is probably try and kill her. So that he can then marry to one of my people. Oh, Fashbinder. Okay, Fashbinder will help us. Okay, awesome. Well, there you go. Well, that's sorted. <laughs> well, that is sorted then. So, um, yeah. Now, what I want to do, like I say, is wait for Crackle to die. And once we have that claim, we can then try and claim the Westlands at some point. Uh, Lady Paramount Tyson greet us warmly to her feast. Wine was served, and the most delicious scents came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Now, need to make her think I'm her friend, and obviously we're not. Okay. Okay. Okay, King, uh, King's Landing mission has been a success. I accept your suggestion. There we go. And they are now married, so he's now going over to the Vale. The new Castellian. Um, the feast is over. Uh, Theomir, you can, I guess, be it for now. Uh, Oversea Province, you can go there. Okay. Anything else I need? Oh, was murdered, shit. Okay, so once here we murder... His wife, we can then try and murder Crackcore. Ooh, a large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at your gates of your stronghold. The leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Well, I am kind and charitable. Very well, let them in. As Indian falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. I'm not going to go through it again because I've gone through that event so many times. Ah, that was very kind of you. A Becul. Okay, let's have a look what he's like. They're usually really shit, but you never know. Who knows? And he's not. 
<laughs> Probably not going to be useful to me, but oh well. I just spend my money as well, actually. So I need to do. So I can always forget to do. Um, that's oh. Okay, support the throne for now. It's a small war. I can't, you know, use a claim or anything yet, so there's no point. Might as well help. Uh, patrol post, militia, training grounds. Oh, let's do barracks. Okay, let's do uh, independent. Wait, is she not helping? No, she's not. Okay. Well, it's better to have the throne on our side than the Westerlands, really. That's what I really want. And a good thing, the reason I want to do it in this guy's lifetime as well, is because his son is actually quite a good general, and he's a good fighter, so it would be good to use him to try and claim the Westerlands. He'll be good in the army. Just needs to get his wife pregnant a bit more. She's only 17, though, so he's got a good chance of doing it. Probably want a son. Make it Just make it safe. Or maybe I should try and marry their... Maybe I should try and marry my granddaughter to someone. At least Petrova, to someone I know she'll have matrilineal. Okay. <laughs> we could get a Martel. Wouldn't be actually that bad. I'll wait and see. But I might try and marry her myself because I don't want to be in a situation where they marry her off to someone stupid. Okay. Just waiting for our plot to work. I'll bring someone else in because it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Uh, yeah, we'll bring the Red Priest in. A rumour about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning I caught him red-handed. Well, I am deceitful. Um, Roth, Roth is probably the thing I'll do here. Behead him. Carve out his eye. Ugh. Okay. Because you have the Roth trait. I'm going to do that. Because I have the Roth trait. And what is this? Second revolt against the rule of King Aina the Great. Wow, it looks as though the heir to the Iron Throne has declared war against the king. Lord Jaehaerys of Starfall. Obviously, the, da um, the Danes usually have Starfall, if I remember correctly. Okay. How is uh, Rupert doing? That's it. Sweet sister. Okay. Ah! I did not notice that. Interestingly, he's going to have a claim on the Vale, not just a claim on the Iron Throne. Hmm. It's probably quite good that he's in Sweet Sister. Maybe he can raise an army to take the Vale. Could be interesting. What was I planning? Oh, yes, also there was the other family member, wasn't there? Um, the Stark one. The one well, the one who's got a claim on the North. Ah. Watching the animal pens outside Casimir gave me an idea on how to deal with Shearer of Small Place. Concentrated manure can be a very explosive substance. And if enough is gathered in a single place and ignited, the blast could prove lethal. My co-conspirator will procure the necessary manure. Yeah, awesome. I'm a very smart man. Oh, Sir so Fashman's refused to provide enough money to procure the manure needed for an explosion. Calling it a harebrained scheme. I'll pay for it myself. Ooh, it gets a lot of money. Yes, I, I want to do it. Trainers refused to provide enough money. Oh, bollocks. Forget it. Are you kidding me? If I spent money for the first one. And does that mean we're not going to do it at all now? Bloody cheap bastards. Or do I have to pay for one? I don't know. That wasn't really well done, to be honest. What if I had like ten people? Ah, there we go. We succeeded in killing her. There was no, truce, uh, there was no trace of my complicity to be found amongst the rubble. Sure, I went out with a bang. Okay, so that's sorted. So now I can marry him to one of my family members, like I was meant to do in the first place. Uh, betrothal. I think it's a betrothal. Yes, it is. My daughter, Melissa. You may marry her. Actually, Enil, obviously. And there we go. Now that we have that done, we can try and get Crackhall. Which is the most important. And once we're rid of him, we'll gain her claim. Oh, did not mean to do that. Did you kill him? Okay, 54%. Wow. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Basically, with that, we've almost got enough. Um, anyone else? 19% there. Yep, I think that's it. 
don't want to bring any more people in because obviously the more people the more likely they'll say something or do something stupid so we'll keep it with just us two that should be enough and no one's actually helping him against the revolt so I can't really see him winning that all it doesn't really stand a chance to be honest Lord Jaehaerys has made a stupid mistake there maybe he thought some other people might come and help him but he's in trouble he's gonna be in trouble okay once we're rid of him we'll have the claim things are, things are going okay so far huh, and we can kick the Lannisters out once and for all Maybe it might be best though for me to. It might be best for me to try and wait for a good time to declare war though, obviously. I'll have to wait and see. Okay. I stumbled into a courtier eating cookies outside the kitchen. The courtier apologized several times and then offered me a cookie as an apology for being in my path, and the snake in me got the best of me. I lost myself in cynical comments about how the courtier was trying to poison me with baked goods. Probably spoken out loud. I'm sorry, but that cookie looks suspicious. Lady Eleanor wants me to stop being cynical. This, that is, I promise I will not be able to hold, but I won't disturb her anymore. I hope that isn't enough, but probably not. I've got an apology to make you guys. Um, obviously, I've been testing out new things with the audio. I had a couple of new things, new software, a pop filter and stuff. And this is on the Greyjoy Let's Play. It's not, it, won't be, it wasn't on this Let's Play. This one was fine, but on the Greyjoy one. And it sounded great. I did the editing, put it all together. It sounded awesome, sounded really smooth. The audio sounded great. Uploaded it to YouTube, then listened to it on YouTube. It sounded terrible. It was really low sound, and it just sounded really bad. And I have no idea how that happened. Um, and obviously, I'd already recorded it and everything, so I couldn't really do anything about it. So I uploaded the rest of the pieces as well. And they all sounded exactly the same. So I really need to apologize for that. It should have sounded much better. It's been really bugging me, the audio. I've now basically gone back um, to what I was doing for the Old Gods, just before that. But yeah, that was really annoying. That was really annoying. And like I said, if I don't sound very talkative today, it's because I just feel quite ill. But I want to get some stuff up, because things haven't been on the pub as much as recently, because we're very busy this week. I had a long weekend, and the weekend's probably why I'm ill. <laughs> so, but I wanted to do some stuff. Uh, Dear Lord Reynolds, Second of Casimir, I hope I invite you to the Grand Feast. I'm never bloody feast. What with you guys in feasts? Ah... <sighs> Okay. Well, that war basically looks like it's over. Yeah, I probably won't be doing much recording today. I'll probably do a little bit of recording so I can put some stuff up. We can try and get us a bit further. But I probably won't be on this for long. I really want to play myself anyway because I want to see how far we can get and see where the story goes. But I just felt really bad recently. Ah, I'd hoped that they'd become fast friends so we could spend time together, the three of us. Little Garth and my friend had a great time together. Yay! I was seated beside a person I'd never really liked with, but, um, talked with before. We ended up together in the garden with a couple of bottles from Lady Paramount Tyson's well-stocked wine cellar. Ah, oh, it was Garth, okay. Ah, there we go. And they can now marry. Naturally not, yep. Try and get some of his traits into our family. I'll also reward him for his hard work. While pondering over the guest list for the banquet, I wondered if I should invite one of my friends. Of, of course. Well, yeah, of course. I'm kind. I'm gregarious. Why would I not? I rush around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready for the banquet. When the guests started to arrive, I waited impatiently for Septon Humphrey, but still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found its designated place at my table. He told me how glad my invitation had made him. Ah. Isn't that nice? Ah, there we go. Son was born the Benedict. Always good. There you go, Philip Rain. Could possibly be the future Lord of the Westlands. Hopefully. Hopefully. How's our plan going? It's still above 100%. We'll try and get rid of him as soon as possible. And also, obviously, my son's wife gains the crack call um, High Lordship, which is another good thing as well. More men. Hopefully. What I'll probably do is start a faction for her, because obviously, 
I'm not sure if she'll gain a strong claim or a weak claim. I'm not sure which one she'll gain. How is uh, Rupert doing, actually? We'll see how Rupert's doing. And she's pregnant. Awesome. Okay. And I need to marry off, actually, the other rain. Let's marry you off. Okay, see if we can get you someone nice, maybe. Just to carry on your claim, because you're going to claim on the north and stuff, it'd be good to keep his line going. Um, no one really good around here. Janelle Sunderland, a reed there. Heir to the High Lord with the neck. Ooh, that might be... That might be worth it. Yeah. We should marry to the High Lord with the neck. Sounds good to me. And they'd marry normally. Well, there you go. Oh, it's because... Huh. Do the mic. Let's just check to make sure she is the heir. Yes, she is. And her mother's 43 years old. Not like to have a kid. Though he could have another kid, but... I wouldn't take that chance, because... He's not really got much of a choice, to be honest. When you look at... <laughs> look at the choices he has. He hasn't got much of a choice. Let's marry him to her. Possibly inherit the neck. And also, again, that's good because obviously he's going to have a claim on the north. Okay. We're getting the reins around a bit. We're going to have one in the north in the neck. And we're going to have one in the Vale and the Sisters. It would be cool to keep an eye on them, sort of sub factions of our family in different parts of Westeros. All trying to get their own, all trying to find their own way. See how well they can do for us. But sometimes a computer can get far on their own. So we'll see what they can do. Are you kidding? Come on, guys. We really need to get something happening soon. Okay, everyone's doing stuff. Military. Well, I've got about 11,000 men. Look at the factions. There's a big Liege Lawless faction there, which is a bit upsetting. 27,000 men. Don't really like that. Lord Lar for the Westlands. The Tawny of Case. Okay, we might as well come. Ah, yes. Master Poliver of Hope Hill. Let everyone... Oh, you son of a bitch. Let everyone know about my plot to kill Lord Lyle of the Westlands. Join a drunken stupor at the local tavern. I never should include that drunken blabbermouth in a plot this delicate. My reputation is ruined. Are you bloody kidding me? Are you kidding me? And now he's been released. He's still part of the plot, though. But still, now if he dies, it's obviously me. <laughs> she, still, she still thinks positive of me, though. It's good. Hopefully she won't arrest me or something. Damn it. What a fool. Ah, I don't know what happened lately. No matter what my lover does, I feel irritated. I've actually started to avoid her. Our relationships bring me only irritation. It is as if we've grown apart. I don't love her anymore. Sad. Sad indeed. We've fallen out of love with our wife. Lady Elen Eleanor Westerling. Oh well. 